Instructors. I'm going to talk about uh, dangerous conditions. If you don't know, I'm a state certified instructor. I teach teens and adults. I have both hands on the wheel, uh, dash cam. So what we're talking about today is dangerous roads. So we have really cold temperatures and a really slick road. I'm being very deliberate and gradually getting into the lane. And often, and you can hear the s snow and slush, and I'm off the gas just letting the speed drop down very gradually. You want to be very deliberate and smooth and not jerk the wheel. If you do, you're going to end up rolling your car, putting into a ditch, or hitting another driver. I think uh, for beginning drivers, you really want to just take your time. And if you have to be out of conditions like this, you want to take your time. You want to be smooth and easy. I'm getting over one lane to the right, so it's mirror, turn signal, blind spot. You can hear that slush, snow, and ice, and I want you to hear this. We're going around a clover leaf, so I'm going to reduce speed and go in slow and easy. Uh, you can see the uh, outline of the road. That's where I want to drive. I do not want to really want to drive in the white part because that could be packed in ice and snow. And also, we're starting to get on a bridge where it's elevated and bridges freeze first, so we're going to have possibilities of a lot of snow and black ice. So I'm just trying to hold the wheel. I can feel the car sliding and definitely it is a white knuckle event. So I'm being patient, taking my time. You want to have the heat on medium to high so the windows don't fog up. And the conditions are getting worse. I'm getting over one lane to the left. And go ahead and get into the groove. <sighs> and it is a little stressful, so I'm not going to lie to you. So you just want to be very deliberate, very smooth. You don't want to overpower the tires on the road. You want to look ahead because people do tend to be a lot more aggressive in these type of conditions and you know, accidents happen. And we as instructors teach our students to just be careful, to take our time. Experience is a good teacher and sometimes for beginning drivers, and this is someone with less than 10 years of experience, you're going to have situations like this where you're going to have to drive and it just extends your traveling time. Um, I'm checking mirrors. I'm looking ahead. It doesn't look too bad. Does not mean I drive like a crazy person? Of course not. It just means I'm looking ahead. I'm making sure my car is operating properly. And I really want to be as safe as possible. We're starting to have whiteout conditions. And now you see a snowplow. Uh, doing their job and they're clearing the snow putting salt down so that was a great teachable moment how vision plays a vital role in your driving and I'm holding uh, the wheel I'm looking and we do not want to be behind uh, the snow plow they're doing their job they're a skilled driver putting in 15 hours uh, on the road so I'm just gonna hold my wheel firmly and you're gonna see all of this snow kick up and you can see that plow working clearing the road and you know they put their lives on the line so I need to get over one lane to the right so there's mirror turn signal blind spot I'm getting over very gradually and I'm kind of wobbling between the roof I don't know if you can kind of see that but it's definitely a little uh, little stressful. So I'm going a little fast, so I'm gonna lift my foot because I don't wanna be on top of this car. My exit is in one mile. So I'm just gonna slow down. In fact, I'm gonna make a lane change. And the speed limit is 70. They're doing about 45 miles an hour. So I understand that. And I'm at 45 miles an hour. So I wanna be careful on the bridge. Warning sign, bridges may be icy. So I'm just gonna take my time. I'm gonna get back over one lane to the right because I need to get off at this exit. And I don't wanna to wait till the last second. You need to know your vehicle. If it's a truck, if it's a car, a smaller SUV, you've gotta be able to be predictable in these type of conditions. Again, I think they're moving too fast for the conditions. Um, and people will push it to the edge and this is how accidents happen. One person speeds, they're speeding. So I need to get off at this exit. I'm squeezing my brakes really easily and I wanna lose as much speed as possible because if I get on this ramp, I'm gonna end up going into the ditch and I don't wanna do that. I just wanna be very deliberate, coming in slow and easy, 
and just taking my time and I'm looking up and around the curve. I'm not looking to the left because I'll hit the guardrail. Well, in fact, there's no guardrail. I'm not trying to go into the ditch, you feel me? So those warning signs tell us it's a very sharp curve uh, to the right, Chevron alignment signs. And then I'm just taking my time. And this is a trumpet. So I'm just gonna let the car gradually travel nice and easy. And I'm being patient. When you're patient, with these types of roads, you're gonna be more successful because no one wants to have an accident, but unfortunately they do happen. So there's a warning sign up here that's telling us information and this will help you. You as a driver, speed limit says 30, I'm at about 27. So I'm gonna drop it down to 20 and go nice and easy around this curve because I'm not trying to crash. And this is a clover leaf. So I'm losing as much speed as possible. And hopefully you can see this really well. Give me feedback if you can. And I'm just taking it very easy, very deliberate, very gentle, because I don't want centrifugal force to pull me out to the left. And then I end up in a ditch because a lot of cars do this. This is a double right turn. We have a red light, so I have to stop first. I have to come to a complete stop. And then I've come to my complete stop. I check traffic. Then I'm gonna make my turn in the nearest lane. Keep your turn as short as possible in the nearest lane. I hope, hopefully this helped you. If it did, subscribe to my channel, like, give a thumbs up. Bye.